Welcome to the Red Tech Daily Podcast, powered by AI. I'm Marguerite Clark, your host, bringing you the latest updates in the global radio broadcast and digital audio industries. Today, we're diving into a significant story about the innovative funding that's empowering South Africa's community radio. Shushu Nitsaki Q is the chief executive officer of South Africa's Media Development and Diversity Agency, a statutory development agency that promotes and ensures media development and diversity in the country. The agency is a partnership between the South African government and major print and broadcasting companies to assist in developing community and small commercial media. Q shared her excitement about leading the MDDA and her commitment to diversifying and developing the media landscape. She said, I was thrilled to take on the challenge of leading the MDDA with my new colleagues and the board in the next phase of the diversification and development of the media. MDDA Board Chair Professor Hlingani Matebula expressed confidence in Q's leadership, citing her extensive experience in the media industry and her deep understanding of digital media, marketing, brand management, and community media. He said that these qualities made her the top candidate for the role when she was selected in January of this year. Researching and innovating new digital funding models to ensure the sustainability of community radio is at the top of Q's agenda. She also aims to rebuild relationships with private sector partners and strengthen trust in the MDDA's brand. In an interview with John Masuku, Q explained how the MDDA supports community radio development in South Africa. She highlighted that the agency has supported between 200 and 270 community radio stations licensed to operate in the country. However, some stations are off the air due to non-compliance or transmission cost issues. The MDDA funds stations for various needs, including purchasing equipment, setting up studios, and upgrading to newer technologies. With the frequent power cuts in South Africa, some stations also apply for generators and solar power equipment. Additionally, the MDDA funds workshops for news content development, technical training, governance, and accredited training. The support provided by the MDDA is often dictated by the needs outlined in the station's applications. A significant portion of the funding goes towards transmission fees, particularly for stations that self-distribute or use Sentec, the South African Broadcasting Corporation's signal distribution company. Other funding areas include stipends to support volunteers and core staff, digitization efforts, and social media marketing for radio. Q emphasized that community broadcasting in South Africa requires diversification and independent ownership to thrive. She noted that the MDDA's limited funding means only a select number of projects can be supported each year. Despite these challenges, the agency continues to play a crucial role in the sector. Sustainability remains a significant challenge for South African community radio stations. According to Kyushu, the sector is heavily dependent on MDDA funding, and there's a need to develop a sustainable model. She mentioned that advertising budgets have shrunk, and there has been a shift towards digital advertising, making it essential to equip the sector with the necessary skills to professionalize and drive growth. Despite these challenges, there are success stories. For example, Kanya Mazane Community Radio in Mpumalanga has repurposed its old studio to record and develop local music and drama talent, reducing the need for travel to Johannesburg. Another success story is Radio Zibonele, which started as a TB and HIV information sharing point and has since developed its own media academy to train journalists and offer digital skills courses. That wraps up today's episode of the Red Tech Daily Podcast. For more insights and to read the full articles, be sure to visit our website at redtech.pro. I'm Marguerite Clark, and I'll catch you in the next episode.